Hey guys, Angie Bull here. I am going to do a reaction video towards Review Reviewer's uh, art challenge. Uh, the art challenge being that it's going to be about costume swapping. So, let's get to it. Hey everybody. At the beginning of February, I issued a costume swap fan art challenge. Here are the results. First up, Darius Looker sends in this piece of his character having swapped a costume with Reviewer. Don't know why Reviewer looks so annoyed though. Next up, Willow Wisp sends in this piece of Reviewer having swapped outfits with some sort of robot character. Aww. I do love how baggy Reviewer's outfit is on the robot. <laughs> Next up, Molly Mock sends in this piece of Reviewer and It having swapped outfits with his characters Sam and Molly respectively. While Molly's reaction is funny and adorable, it does highlight an issue that I didn't consider when I issued this challenge. Oh no. Next up, Retro Styles sends in this piece of his OC and Reviewer having swapped outfits. Makes me realize that the scarf would make a good face mask. Yeah! Next up, Keyblade Mistress sent in a bunch of entries, including Reviewer and her crafty OC, Victoria Dracul. My hair hasn't seriously gotten that long, has it? Mr. It and Leo. It can surprisingly pull off dreadlocks. Yeah! Mistis and Ruby the Genie, which looks just adorable. Riseno and Susan Laws. Mad science for the win. <laughs> Roland and presumably Keyblade Master Craig. Oh. Nice to see Roland getting some attention. Nice. And finally, Future Keybearer and Rebecca Masters. Pretty neat to see them not only swapping outfits, but also Keyblades. Nice. Next up, Sony Bean sends in this piece of reviewer having swapped outfits with her character Mira. Honestly, probably the most tame of the gender swap ones. But then again, I don't know what's going on with the bottom half of that outfit. Oh dear. However, same can't be said for this piece submitted by Midnight Chan. <laughs> there is no way that is comfortable on the nether regions. Midnight Chan also sends in this piece of Mr. It and her character Dusk, it looking like a fluffy little potato, and this piece <laughs> of her character Amistus. And not gonna lie, that's a pretty good look on both of them. It is! Speaking of surprisingly good looks for Mistis, Xandru sends in this piece of the two of them and OH MY GOD THE HAIR ON Xandru's LEGS! <laughs> um, anyway... Last but not least, Toxic Asylum sends in this lovely piece of her character Calypso having swapped outfits with Mary. Ooh. The outfits work for both of them and I love that mask. And now for this month's challenge. Some might consider this a little late, but seeing as how it's Pokemon's 25th anniversary, Ooh. for this challenge, draw any member of the Reviewer Reviewer cast as either a Pokemon trainer or even a Pokemon. Ooh. Submit your entries by tagging me on either Twitter or DeviantArt by the end of March 2021. Big thank you to all the people who submitted to this challenge, and I hope you guys have fun with the next one. Okay, so let's look over the individual arts uh, myself. Darius, once again, brings a, bring his A-game. This is really good. I like the line art of, like, um... What it does with the with the hair here, with like um, with the color outline hair. That's really cool. Uh, I don't know what those are. Are those like secretly little horns that reviewer is hiding? Are those supposed to be the eyebrows or something? Because that's that's what I'm seeing of what what that looks like there. Also, I do like a reviewer's hairstyle that you did here. That's really good. This is a really good job, Darius. Another good one, man. Okay, so this is a new artist uh, for the challenge. Um, let me look at the list here. Willow Wisp. Uh, this is really done. This is really nicely done. It looks like some of it's like sketched. On it's like a sketch art kind of thing. And you know what? I really like that. That's really good. That's a really good art style. Also, yes, uh, as a reviewer said, the baggy clothes on it looks really cute. It, it's adorable. It's a cute little thing. Once again, we got a new one here, Molly Mox. I don't know if Molly Mox is Molly Mox somebody from the live streams, maybe. Either way, this is really this is really cute, and uh, I saw like Midnight's uh, reaction to this as well. And I think this is like an app, uh, drawing app of creating OCs and stuff. And you know what? I don't. That's not. That's that's really good. And you know what? I kudos that. That is really good. The characterizations work. The hair on reviewer actually looks pretty good. And apparently this is uh, Molly's OC. And um, yeah, I was not expecting that either. But overall, I I think it's all in good fun. And you know what? That's that's really cute. Next one is Retro Styles. I recognize that from the stream. Way to go, Retro. This is really good. I really like this. I didn't know that you drew, like, um... I didn't know that you were an artist. This is really good. And, yeah, I do like the idea of, like, uh... uh the scarf being, like, uh... Kind of a face mask thing. R really clever, Retro. Really clever. <laughs> okay, so now we're looking at, uh... Keyblade Mistress's, uh... OC characters list. She has done a... She has made, like, so many that's really good. With all the OCs that she's got here. Uh, so right now we're looking at Victoria Dra Dracula. Ah, very cute. That is a really nice, uh, outfit swap right there. Mr. It and her, uh, OC Leo. Yes, the Dra- I- You know? That's not- That's so 
something you never think about before. Having Mr. It have dreadlocks, that really works for him. That's so... That's so weird. Although, I do gotta say, uh, her OC Leo, just wearing a big old furry outfit, that's just... I don't know, that's just so weird, but at the same time, it's kind of funny. Also, he looks nice in the top hat. Uh, let's give credit to Leo's look, uh, the fact that he can pull off that top hat. I agree with reviewer, this is just cute. Th that, it's so weird because they work so well with their outfit swap. You look at this and you're like, oh, this is what they usually look like. No, but th they actually are switched outfits. That's so good, too. Also, I like the fact of what, um, Mistress, uh, Keyblade like Mistress did here. I'll address why later. But still, this is really good. Okay, so with a name like Susan Law, something tells me that uh, Susan Law is supposed to be like a lawyer character or something like that. I, I could be wrong. She could be a scientist character. I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty good. I, I really sadly can't say mu much about that other than that looks good. Although now that I'm looking at it, it looks like they're both wearing the same kind of headpiece and glasses. So I'm guessing like they both got to keep the same thing. Or maybe they both wear the same goggles. I don't know. Okay, so I had to do a little stunning on this one. Um, Keyblade Master Craig is her OC. I thought that was, um, I thought that was an actual Kingdom Hearts character. Then I realized, oh wait, it's OCs switching costumes, not something else. And yeah, Roland actually pulls off the, you know what? I'm not going to lie. If there was a time to retrofit, uh, Roland's outfit, it might be that. It, um, I would think that Roland would probably have a cool looking belt or something like that. But that's just, that's just me for like, if you wanted to update a costume or something. But still, that looks really good. And yeah, it's nice to see Roland get some love. That's, that is so cool. Her OC, Rebecca Masters, and uh, Future Keybearer with, not only with just with, not just only with uh, swapped outfits, but also weapons. That's really cool. Also, she has a robotic arm? Does Rebecca Masters have a robotic, is, huh, that's interesting. Either that or it's just a really cool armor gauntlet. I don't know. Now, this looks really good. Sony Bean uh, is new to the uh, fan art challenge. I think she's also a uh, voice actress, a new voice actress for a review reviewer, uh, playing one of the character, one of the new um, characters. I don't know which one. I need to rewatch that episode again. I'll I'll try to, I'll try to remember or something or leave a link. We'll, we'll see what happens. But yeah, this is really good. The lighting in her hair, in his hair, it's just so good. Also, she looks really cute. I'm. That's all I can really say. She pulls off the scarf. You know what? She actually pulls off that outfit very well. A lot of people actually might pull off reviewer's outfit very well. <laughs> like Dusk's mom. Oh my, oh my gosh. <laughs> you know what? Not gonna lie. Dusk's mom uh, looks pretty attractive in reviewer's outfit. I, I just gotta say, I'm, I'm just saying. Also reviewer, you look very nice. And yes, it looks painful, so, ha. I'm so, I, aren't I just a nice friend? Waiting on midnight, this was, this was too, this was hilarious. This was really good. And this was adorable. I, I, yeah, I agree with reviewer that he, uh, that Mr. It looks like a potato. To me personally, he just looks like a, a little punk and it's so cute. Also, Dusk does a pretty good job of wearing that. You know what? Dusk uh, in a top hat actually looks pretty good. Now, this one, I gotta say, might be my favorite out of, like, the three of the arts. Don't get me wrong. Reviewer and, um, and Dusk's mom, uh, what is her name again? Let me double check that name again. Uh, Curl uh Curlissa, uh, doing an outfit swap is hilarious, but this is really cute. I love the idea of, uh, of Midnight and Mistis swapping outfits. That's really cool. Yeah, ultimately, these look really good. Way to go, way to go, Midnight. Way to go. <sighs> okay, so this I gotta address. Now, I think I'm over-exaggerating with the uh, the hair legs that I've got here. Hold on, let me give you, like, a better view. Ah, can't go any further, dang that it. Oh, well. But yeah, I'm a little sad that he, he, I'm a little sad that he didn't compliment, like, Mistis here. Because she looks pretty good. You know what? When I was drawing this, she was much easier to draw uh, with my outfit, because I know my outfit through and through, so to try to modify it to fit somebody else, um, is no problem with me, but I have not drawn missed this enough, but there's one thing I am mad at myself, I did not fix, I forgot to add the cape, the Dark Magician Girl cape back here, keep like Mistress remembered to do that, uh, for the outfit, but I forgot, oh my gosh, I'm so mad at myself for that, ah! But still, I'm glad, um, I'm glad he enjoyed it. When I shared this with him on Discord, um, he shared a gift where he was like, 
laughing uncontrollably, probably couldn't breathe, and... Oh, there you go. The last one here done by Toxic Asylum. This is really cool. That is really good. I think Toxic has done, like, art before, but I don't know. I think that she was in the last, uh, fan art challenge, the ship art challenge. I think that that's where she was in. And I gotta agree with him. This is really nicely done. Their outfits really work well. This is just really good. This is mind-blowing. It's amazing how, like, how many people, uh... I gotta say, right now, look, looking at the list, other than, like, our, uh, our regular contenders, uh, we have about, like, um, uh, one... Two, three, four more new people doing art, and I gotta say, you guys did a good job. What I'm really sad, and this was brought up in Midnight Chan's uh, reaction video, that Lady Solana did not do a submit. I'm really sad that Lady Solana didn't get a chance to be a part of the contest. Maybe, like, it's like she's super busy or something, I don't know. But hopefully next time she'll be able to make it. And that's my reaction. Uh, I apologize for this coming in late. I did want to try to release this early in the morning, but I also had work at that time, so I had to fix that up. This is like post after, and the way I did it, I rushed it, I just like forgetting character names, getting the information wrong. I at least wanted to get this right, so there you go. And it's also nice that uh, Midnight Chan uh, did a reaction video first, because she did point out that like Lady Solana wasn't there, and I didn't even notice. I'm like, oh man, she wasn't there, that sucks. And I am looking forward to the uh, the Pokemon challenge. Either his characters being Pokemon trainers or Pokemon. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what we all can come up with that idea with, with, with him. I I'm not going to lie, that sounds like a lot of fun. I have some ideas, I don't think they're going to work, but I'll see where it comes from there. And I hope to see everybody else's artwork when they do this. I am... This is... This is... So, this was so much fun. And this is just going to be just as fun. With all that said, thank you so much for watching. May God continue to bless you and just have a good day.